5 things to do to profit from the next recession. Every single billionaire, analyst, and economist has given us warning that a financial collapse is imminent. Here is Bill Gates predicting that the world economy will stall this year. Elon Musk is laying off employees at his businesses because, in his opinion, a recession is quite likely. According to Jamie Diamond, an economic hurricane is coming. Actually, 70% of Americans believe that a recession is imminent. It appears that the economy is about to collapse. Recessions are nothing new. As you will see if you open the Wikipedia page listing the number of them in the US. Although they may sound like a catastrophe, they play a crucial role in the operation of our economy. It is typical for the economy to reach a certain threshold before gradually slowing down. But if you look closely, you'll see that recessions were considerably more prevalent before the Fed was established. The economy would reach its pinnacle after two to three years of expansion, then slow down before experiencing its next boom. After the central bank's manipulations, economic expansion lasting six, seven, or even eight years became considerably more normal, and eventually, we shattered the record of 10 years in eight months. Since we experienced a recession during the COVID and another is anticipated before the pandemic is even finished, it appears that we have reached the apex of using the Fed's methods to prevent recessions. We are not going into details about why we are about to face another recession. So let's find out how to prepare for the next recession. How to benefit for the upcoming crisis and how to make sure you get out of the next recession much better financially. Here are 5 things to do to profit from the next recession. Number 1. Never let the money go. A time of unrest is an economic crisis. The amount of money on the table is most important at this point, because there is so much money in the economy when business is booming. Few people are concerned about it. People make dangerous investments without thinking about the repercussions. This is the reason why cryptocurrencies and new financial technologies have risen like Falcon 9 during the past two years. However, as soon as the Fed suggested that a recession is inevitable, even the richest man in the world sold his bitcoins and began to increase his cash position. All of a sudden, everyone started to invest like Warren Buffett, who has always preferred cash to risky ventures. The fact that his name hasn't been as well known over the past two years as Kathy Woods or Elon Musk has made him unique. He is sitting on a mountain of money, waiting for the right moment. Therefore, the best strategy to get ready for the next recession is to cut your spending as much as you can and get ready for the winter. Even while it may not seem like much, spending a few dollars on a cup of coffee or a few hundred on a new pair of sneakers adds up over time. Everything you buy now costs a lot more due to the tremendous inflation we are currently experiencing. Save, save, save if you want to be prepared for the upcoming recession. We will overcome this high inflation as soon as we resolve the global supply chains, but it might take us until the following year. Number 2. Purchase liquid companies Because money is tight during a financial crisis, many businesses frequently drastically decrease or just declare bankruptcy. People won't work for anything, ever. Keep in mind that they need to feed their tummies. Therefore, it is expected that a wave of enterprises would close. Even large firms, including General Motors, Chrysler, AIG, and countless others, declared bankruptcy during the 2008 financial crisis. Government or larger, more reliable corporations acquire them. As a result, if you are investing, be sure to pick businesses with the financial resources to weather the storm, because it's preferable to let inflation slowly eat away at the fortune than to face a recession without enough liquidity. Some corporations like Apple and Microsoft are sitting on enormous piles of cash despite high inflation. All you need to do is look at the balance sheet of the company to determine how liquid it is. You should have no trouble finding their financial statements if they are a publicly traded corporation. And don't expect every business to have as much cash on hand as Apple does, which is over $200 billion. Number 3. A downturn represents an opportunity. 
Although it may seem that a recession is the worst moment to launch a business, the reality is completely different. Competing with elite players during an economic expansion is challenging, if not impossible. Startups have the chance to succeed during crisis, while large firms are sidetracked by enormous bureaucracies. For instance, WhatsApp was established in 2009, during the aid of the financial crisis. A few years later, Facebook paid $19 billion to acquire WhatsApp. And it is worth much more now with over 2 billion users. Uber is another illustration. Despite still having trouble making a profit, it was formed in 2009 and is now worth close to $50 billion. There are numerous additional instances like Square, Venmo, Slack, and Pinterest, but Bitcoin is undoubtedly the most well known. In truth, Satoshi Nakamoto was inspired to create Bitcoin by the 2008 financial crisis, which led to the emergence of a whole industry and the creation of numerous millionaires and billionaires. Consider companies like Gemini, Coinbase, and Binance. Even Tesla, which came dangerously close to going out of business during the crisis, managed to pull through and make the event a turning point in the history of the sector. At the time, Several manufacturers declared bankruptcy, but Tesla came out on top. But the issue goes beyond just launching a business. Recessions are good times to advance your career. You will have an advantage over your co-workers if you take charge during the difficult circumstances, and you will advance up the career ladder far more quickly and in a shorter amount of time. Just consider how many CEOs were replaced by their junior managers during the most recent crisis. Number 4. Avoid cashing out when everything is expanding. Patience is simple to maintain. If you bought Bitcoin at 11k before its meteoric climb, you've probably seen how quickly your assets increased in value. The reality is that during a bad market, the exact reverse occurs. Many people lose patience and start selling because they believe that the world is about to end. You don't need that money if the world is about to end. Despite jokes, the stock market has endured the Vietnam and Iraq conflicts, the Great Depression, World War II, and numerous recessions. Since timing the market is not simple as you might think, the investors who actually gained money were either those who sold before everything crashed, which is nearly impossible, or who patiently waited until the crisis subsided and equity started to rise once more during the expansion period. Despite their significant losses, they are utterly certain that everything will turn around. Number 5. Avoid accruing debt. You will struggle if you haven't organized yourself to survive a downturn. Many individuals take on debt when they are unable to meet their fundamental necessities. And if an inflationary or financial bubble causes a recession, as it has in our current situation, the Fed will hike interest rates in order to deflate the bubble, making debt more expensive at these times. The Federal Reserve increased interest rates to 5.25% in 2007 at the peak of the housing boom. Consider the prices for consumers like you and me. The Federal Reserve increased interest rates to 6.5% during the 2000 dot com bubble. Because they frequently struggle to save money, the poor may need to borrow during recessions to put food on the table, whilst the wealthy don't and can utilize their extra funds to benefit from the crisis. Recessions make the rich richer and the poorer. These are only a few strategies for preparing for the next disaster. But in the end, you have to take into account your particular circumstances, which are almost certainly going to be unique from those of everyone else. From our discussion, what have you learned? Please let me know by leaving a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, please press the like button, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe to Wealthology for more videos like this. Thank you for stopping by to watch. Bye!